In this episode, we're going to try and get it started, try and get the dash in, and tidy up some other odds and ends. Okay, next up is these wheels. Let's see if we can do something about them. They're uh, just plasti dipped or, I don't know what else you would call it, vinyl sprayed uh, peelable paint on there. So I'm gonna pull that off and uh, see how they look underneath because we've decided uh, we do like, they're silver underneath and we like the look of the silver wheel better. So, but depending on the condition, we may have to do something with the wheels um, once we peel this off, but uh, it's only one way to find out, so. Uh, most of it off of this wheel here. Um, yeah, it looks pretty good. Some of this is being a little more stubborn to get off. Um, so, and some of it I'm going to probably have to take the wheel off to finish up. So, uh, I'm going to take a break from that and uh, just move on to something else for a bit. Okay, so I think we're pretty close to getting this car started. I have kind of sorted out most of the electrical issues, I think. So, uh, um, we have confirmed it's going to turn over. So now let's just see, uh, if we can get it started and running. So. <laughs> Okay, so it's turning over and it's firing, but it's not uh, continuing to run. So uh, let me check uh, the fuel pump and a few things like that to just confirm if they're working. And then uh, we'll give it another try. Okay, after some quick adjustments, let's give it another try and see if we can get this thing running. Alright, so one more thing I marked off the list. Uh, we're pretty happy with that. There was a few uh, issues that we had to kind of deal with there. Uh, there was a, just some loose connections on the uh, fuel pump relays and things like that. But uh, woohoo, we're moving on. Okay, next up on the list is we're going to uh, just kind of uh, make a vapor barrier for the door here. Uh, I just got some leftover plastic from another project. I'm going to try and use that. So basically I'm just going to cut a piece that roughly the size, kind of tape it into place, and then mark it out, cut it out so that we can uh, uh, prevent the moisture to, from ruining the uh, door card like the uh, current one kind of is. So uh, let's go. Okay, so I've got this basically roughed out now. Um, I'm still trying to decide uh, whether we're gonna try to make up new uh, door cards right now, 
or if that's going to be a project for later. The current ones are kind of warped, but uh, they would work. <coughs> um, so yeah, that's uh, basically kind of cut out and in place. I've marked where all the proper door card um, snaps or uh, fasteners would go, and I can use this as a rough template to uh, make the new door card if I have to as well. So. Okay, I think uh, the next thing I'm going to do is basically start putting the dash back together. I've got kind of what I can get working at this time. Uh, so, I, <coughs> it's probably going to come out again. Because um, everything's not perfect yet. But at least this will give me uh, an idea of what still needs to be worked on. And uh, possibly we can take this for a test drive just to see how everything's working, but I'd like to at least have the dash kind of in there, get some of the wiring tucked away. So I'm gonna start with the uh, dash pad and then we'll move on to the dash. Okay, so dash is in. Um, like I said, I, there's a good chance I'm going to have to pull this out again just uh, as far as to address some more wiring issues and things like that. Um, I'm not sure if all the switches are working, and the main gauges aren't working really, so uh, I do have to purchase a new speedometer cable, which I think I've mentioned before. But otherwise, uh, yeah, it's all back together and uh, it's looking pretty good, so. Okay, so next up is uh, this rear view mirror I'm going to attach. Uh, basically, I've got to clean up the window here and then I'm gonna mark out basically where I want the mirror to sit. And then I will uh, basically attach this uh, mirror attachment. I purchased some uh, mirror attachment adhesive at the uh, auto parts store. So once I figure out exactly where I want it to go, basically I'm going to place this here, let that cure, and we'll be ready to attach the rearview mirror. Okay, so I've got the button attached now. It's uh, just got to cure for 30 minutes and then we'll, we can install the mirror. Okay, next up on the list while I'm waiting for that uh, rear view mirror button to dry is I'm going to put this uh, side trim on. So uh, I've ordered new clips, so I'll grab those, we'll install them. And then basically once the clips are in, you just uh, hook the bottoms and snap it on. So we'll get to doing that. Trim's on, it's looking good, and we're getting very close to uh, having this done for uh, school, which is coming up uh, pretty quick here. So, plan is for her to drive it to school on the first day of classes, and uh, I think we're getting pretty close. Like I said, there's going to be some ongoing mechanical upgrades that we do and things like that, so uh, stay tuned for those, but uh, we're getting very close to uh, having it on the road anyway, so... If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. We'll see you next time on Analog Generation.